All right, so we got the last thing here, the IFS line. And like I said, this one was a little bit new to me. This one was surprising to me. I'm gonna say that one, this was surprising because I had never really seen this or encountered this. They are manually setting IFS, the internal field separator to a new line and a tab. If you know by default in Bash, the IFS is set to space, new line, tab, all three of those characters. And th there's, there's special meaning about how words are expanded based on this. So let's pull this up and let's take a look at what we got. We got our simple script right here. We have an array here of hello space world, you suck, space, 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 at programming a whole bunch of spaces here. We have an array with three elements. The three elements have white space in them. One has one space, one has, you know, three, and one has like five or six. I don't know, I'm not gonna count it. This is how they show it in their example. Four item in array, echo item. There are no quotes here. This is hurting me to look at, it's fine, but there's no quotes around array here, and there's no quotes around item here. So let's see what happens when we run this without quotes. So you can see, we break them all on their uh, white space. So we have hello world, you suck at programming. Each one of these was handled separately. That's not good. That's not what we want. So we can see if we use the strict mode where we set IFS to new line tab without putting the white space in here and we have everything else exactly the same, unquoted variables and everything, we run the strict mode and we get what we want. That's pretty cool. I have to say, when I first saw this, I was like, that's a pretty cool little trick right there. I just worry about the ways this can break. Let's talk about some of the ways this can break. First, I wanna jump into this. I wanna just show my simple example at the beginning. If you just put quotes around it, this fixes the issue too. You just have to remember to put quotes around your expansions. You have to put quotes here because you're expanding a variable or uh, an array. You have to put quotes here because you're expanding the data inside the array, the, the item of the array. So as long as you quote your variables, it works. It works exactly the same as the first uh, strict example worked. We get the exact same output. Let's talk about some of the ways it's broken. Hello, new line world. You tab suck at space programming. If we use the strict mode here and we don't quote the variables, obviously it's gonna work sometimes, it's gonna break. It's gonna break when there's a new line, it's gonna break when there was a tab, but it's gonna work when there were spaces. That's not great because in this example, yeah, I'm I'm setting the array myself, but you could imagine this comes from some sort of user data. Maybe these are file names. It's not normal that you encounter file names with new lines and tabs in it, but you can. There's nothing that says they can't be there. Um, maybe some modern POSIX standards, I think, say something about that. But regardless, it's totally valid. I could put new lines and tabs into a file name. It's weird, it's gnarly, but you can do it. 